Hi there and welcome back to our How to Use Anna 2 series. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at how to set up FM in Anna 2. So first thing I generally do is switch um, oscillators to sine waves and this gives us our cleanest sort of FM sound. Um, so if you notice here on oscillator 1 we have the source control and then our FM amount knob and our source for oscillator 1 can either be oscillator 2 or oscillator 3 and each oscillator has a different source um, on oscillator 2 it can either be oscillator 3 or the sub and on oscillator 3 it can only be the sub so I'll show you how this all works together then so if we set oscillator 2 as our source that means whatever is happening in oscillator 2 will be sent through to the FM so we need to enable at least one voice it's a good idea to have re-trig on, on both of these so they sync up together and then you can either decide to keep the volume of the oscillator passing through or just turning it off if you turn it down it just means that this oscillator is only being used to send to the FM <laughs> and if you turn that volume up again that's just the clean oscillator coming through so we can also use uh, oscillator 3 as the source so we can go in and set that up put it to a different octave say so there's oscillator 2 and oscillator 3. The other thing we can do is chain the FMs together so we can go into oscillator 2 for example and say that we want uh, oscillator th 2 to be the FM or sorry we want oscillator 3 to be the modulator for this one and now we've got this chained FM and we can even go one step further where we can use the sub on oscillator 3 as the source So you can effectively chain sort of four FM modulators together, get quite complex stuff. So another thing we can do with the FM, if we select our main oscillator as a sign and we select a saw as our source, normally uh, when you FM a saw it can get quite grainy and gritty and we've got a feature that can help with that a bit so if we go in here and do our oscillator settings and go to FM filter and we can add a filter to the source and it kind of just tidies up that um, source so I'll go back to off and you can hear the difference so it just helps you get cleaner sounds especially when you're using some of the digital waves that are sort of quite aggressive you can just get a generally smoother sound so there you go, that's pretty much it for FM. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at the sampler oscillators. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you wanna watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.